What's up guys, it's Chris here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the most recent VV and app update. Pretty crazy, so earlier today there was actually a tornado watch in my area and thankfully it missed us. It did hit like 10 minutes from me, but now it's completely sunshine and beautiful outside, so here I am. I really wanted to do a video because we did just pass 5,000 subscribers and I just wanted to say on video, thank you so much to each every one of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, any, whether you lurked or whatever, would not be here without you. So again, thank you so much. Without further ado, let's talk about the most recent VV and app update. First and foremost, to some of you watching this video, I do wanna say some of these things might seem obvious if you use the app every single day or if you're involved with the space every day, but for those who aren't as plugged in or kind of see it more passively, they might not have noticed all of these update changes, so that's why I make videos like this. If these videos like this do benefit you, please be sure to leave a comment down below just you know, giving me some feedback and letting me know, and of course, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So here we have it. Shout out to Zero Credits Left on Twitter for kind of breaking down most of it for us so we can just kind of go through these tweets. But the biggest thing by far, and I'll just start it off with this, is we actually have an estimated value at the top right. So if you look up here, it says 19.7K gems. That's the estimated value of this person's collectibles. And then you can go to comics and you see 2.7K. That's the estimated value of the comics. To see this, you'll just simply go to, well, first off, update your app. So go to the store, view VV, click update, and then you can click down where it says collection, and you'll be able to see the estimated value at the top right. Now this, of course, does not factor in mint numbers. This goes off of floor prices. I'm not entirely sure how accurate it is, but from what I've seen, it's pretty accurate. So it's pretty cool that we have that now. The second biggest update we have to this right now is the data that it shows on the transaction so now as you can tell you can actually see the mint number in the transaction which is pretty cool so you see this fe1245 this is going to make it a lot easier to be able to log if you're one of those that likes to keep up with everything a lot more clear uh, it, i do believe they have updated a couple more things like the uh, timestamp date and uh, like to show you exactly what time you bought it and the date that you bought it I'm not sure on everything, it just looks a lot cleaner, um, at least from what I've seen, but definitely the biggest aspect of this is being able to see the mint numbers in the transaction details, it's a really big deal. As you can see, he actually bought this one from the store, so it shows that it's from store, um, and when he bought it, which was March 12th, 2021, and then this one was bought from this person right here, and of course there's a fee because it was bought on secondary market, and it was bought on March 29th of 2022. This is probably a a small one but i think it's kind of funny because for whatever reason twitter doesn't even have this feature but the in-app vv has this feature now but you can actually click on your own post and choose to edit it now uh that way if you kind of mess something up instead of just going back and redoing it you can just edit it and clear what you messed up this is pretty cool i do hope that as time progresses they'll update the social functionality of the app because i do think at the end of the day this is going to matter in the future maybe not a whole lot right now but in the future i actually thought about doing a video on this specifically on why i think in-app follow will matter uh, you know, a while from now but not quite right now but you know making posts and being able to edit them and interact with them and like them and all that uh, it, it does matter and so the fact that they are working towards making the in-app uh, just social aspect more desirable I think is a step in the right direction by the way what I haven't even talked about here me and Dino talked about it in one of my recent live streams but the web app looks absolutely phenomenal it's kind of irrelevant to this video but I will definitely make a video on that once it's updated but I'm really excited and look forward to that the last big detail that I did notice that wasn't included in that tweet is they did update the popular brands tab what what I'm assuming they base this off of is what's being bought and sold the most right now. If you navigate to market and you scroll down a little bit, you'll see popular brands and you can just kind of shift through those at your own wish. And again, I'm assuming they're basing that off of volume because it does look like some of them are recent, but some of them aren't. Like you have the Marvel Mighties right here. So I'm assuming those are being bought and sold a lot right now. So that's a pretty cool small little feature. Besides that, there's just been a bunch of backend updates and small bug fixes. But overall, I would say this is a pretty substantial app update. Again, I'm so much looking forward to the web app. I think that's gonna completely change the game for VV and I'm really excited about it. Anyways, thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope it was beneficial to those who maybe aren't involved in the space as much, just being able to watch this in video format, kind of understand all the updates. And now you can kind of go view the updates on your own. So again, if this type of video benefits you in any way, be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.